Hey guys, I'm going to show you some extensions for Kotlin Android that I use for a lot of projects and I usually use for almost every project. Um, and that's for dealing with bitmap. Now converting a bitmap to like an in array or a byte array is a little difficult. It takes maybe like five lines. Um, I, I, I always look it up online. I can never um, figure it out on my own. I, I, I always have to double check it online so I can never remember what um what to do in the case. So I usually use an extensions for it. So you can see here I have in array to bitmap. That's pretty much takes like a pix a, a pixel in array turns to bitmap and then we have a in array turns to a byte array, you know, um bitmap and we scale it. We have a scale um a scale function here. You can just re I'm gonna resize your bitmap to a given width or height. You can scale it like scale it like that in the corners. Bitmap to byte array. Now I do this a lot in almost every app because almost every app has images. Downloading images from the from an API or you know just from any type of source. You just come in as a byte array, and then you have to convert it to bitmap. This just you just do take bitmap and two byte array function. And then I have a, um, of course I have a byte array two bitmap. <laughs> so um, I do other things with them and yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I always do bitmap stuff. I, um, uh, as soon as I create a project that deals with a lot of bitmaps, I add all these in. I add all of these, um, these extensions right here and they work very well I think that a lot of projects need these type of things because it's very uh, time consuming and it's a lot of lines of code to convert a bitmap to a byte array like four or five times for your project uh, much easier just to take the in array and turn to a byte Byte array or take a bit, bitmap, put it to a, a byte array. Much easier to do it that way.